Hello and welcome to Andrew Answers. I'm Andrew. If there's one question that I get this year, especially at the beginning, is what can I do this year differently to help myself save for retirement? What's a new financial thing that I can get on board with and help myself save? Well, I could certainly refer you to your local financial advisor, which if you don't have one, you probably want to take a look at. Uh, but for those who don't have enough money for a financial advisor, there's a really easy bit of advice that you can find that's simply a phone call away. The elderly. We all have grandparents or at least connect with people who are of an older generation who, guess what, they've lived through it all already and they're going to have the best advice, the real life advice that you're probably looking for. So I'm going to take a few tips from an article I read recently that will hopefully help you a bit. First, enjoy what you do. And I know I've said this before, but if you're going to be working 40 hours a week for a half a century at a job that you make money doing and then pay bills and save with, well, you got to enjoy what you're doing. So find that job that you love. That way work doesn't feel like work and saving becomes easier from the money that you earn. Plus, if you like what you do, more than likely you're probably going to move up pretty quickly in that job and therefore over time make a little bit more money. So first off, do what you love. You're going to be doing it probably a bit longer. Next, be frugal and live a little. So it's important to save, but it doesn't mean that you can't have a good time doing it. So for those of you who are especially living in debt a little bit more so than they used to, be sure that you're paying those bills, but also save a little bit money to the side to enjoy yourself. Now, this doesn't mean necessarily sacrificing what you're already doing. However, if you're enjoying your happy hours a little too much, like every Friday, sometimes Thursday and the occasional Wednesday, you might want to kind of trim it down a little bit. Why does it have to be happy hour? Why drown your sorrows when maybe you can grab your friends and go on a different experience? Maybe out to dinner, maybe to a play or a concert. Think about those things that you'll remember ongoing because that way you'll remember those things the strongest because you probably won't remember every single one of those Fridays for happy hour. Next, stop worrying about the things you can't control. Instead, you can actually control the things that you worry about. So continue to make savings while you're paying your debts. Make those minimum payments, get yourself out of debt, but even if you can only put 2 or 3% away out of your paycheck, it's better than doing nothing and then you don't have to worry about it any longer. This has been another episode of Andrew Answers. If you've got a question about your retirement, your future, or just plain on anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can ask wherever you see this video, and feel free to follow me at Andrew Answers on Twitter and ask a question there. In the meantime, feel free to share and help yourself and others around you save for their future.